Now, your 13 first alert weather forecast. Well, another day, another chance at breaking a record in the Chippewa Valley, and that's pretty much been the size of it over the last two weeks. Because remember last week, we had two records that were broken. Sunday, we tied one. Monday, Tuesday, you get the picture. It's been very mild, and this morning was certainly no exception at that either, as a lot of us managed to stay in the upper 30s. Most places stayed well above the freezing point. There were a few spots in our lower elevations that did manage to dip into the upper 20s, but that was a little bit more of the exception as opposed to the rule. For a while, Osceola was holding on to a temperature of 40 degrees as well. They ended up bottoming out at 36 degrees, bottomed out 38 in Eau Claire. But for the afternoon, expected to be mainly cloudy. Peaks of sunshine really just going to be at a minimum. Possibly even a chance at a stray shower, but for the most part, a lot of us are expected to stay dry. But temperatures expected to rebound to the 50s again. And mind you, for reference, our record high today, 50 degrees. And then tonight into tomorrow, that's where we have those better chances at some showers. And yes, you are reading that correctly. We are looking at the possibility of a thunderstorm or two. Otherwise, for the afternoon, temperatures expected to stay mostly in the upper 40s and low 50s. 44 right now in Eau Claire, 43 in La Crosse. Still some upper 30s further towards the northeast. But Toma's rebounded to 47 degrees. Very warm down that way. But again, this has been the trend for all of February thus far. And this just gives you an indication as to how much above average we are. That gray line that you see for reference is our averages. And of course, more often than not, throughout February, we have uh, broken records, of course. But later on, this, the end of the work week, into the weekend, that's where we'll have temperatures approaching average again. But for the time being, we are on record watch again. And what's really interesting about that uh, record in La Crosse that is also the forecast high today, and that record was set back in the late 1800s, so that one's going to be real interesting to watch going into the afternoon. Otherwise, winds mainly out of the south. That's helping to warm us up despite the cloud cover, as most of us are about 5 to 15 miles per hour. And again, a few stray showers are working through the area, but most places expected to stay dry going into the afternoon. Here's a look at Skycast going forward. Again, we'll have those winds continuing out of the south. Variable clouds through the early evening and into tonight, but then we get the remnants of that atmospheric river that's been plaguing California. And again, not getting nearly the moisture that they had gotten, but we are going to see those chances at some showers and a few thunderstorms even going into tomorrow morning and into the afternoon. Those will remain on and off, but then our winds start to pick up more out of the west going into tomorrow night. That's going to effectively cool us off and bring the possibility of some snowflakes to the area by Friday morning. Otherwise, most of Friday going to be dominated by cloud cover and those winds turning breezy out of the west. But for today, highs mostly in the 50s, a couple spots staying in the 40s. Otherwise, later on tonight, again, not cooling off too much, only falling to the low 40s and some upper 30s in our lower elevations. A look at the Cooley region over the next couple of days. Very, very mild for tomorrow with those winds ramping up quite a bit out of the south. Gusts could be anywhere from 25 to 30 miles per hour as well before we do cool things off going into Friday. And similarly in the Chippewa Valley, we are going to be on record watch over the next couple of days. But then going into the weekend, temperatures rebounding to the low 30s. So again, this is still about 10 degrees above average, but much cooler than we've seen over the last few days. Now for a Sunshine Award, Michaeline Jansen would like to nominate Adam Craig-Nakondi and says Adam sings for the residents of the garden at the Classic at Hillcrest Green most Fridays from 3 to 4 p.m. He is able to bring smiles and joy to the residents. He knows the music that will reach them. He is able to engage the residents in various stages of dementia. Over the years, I've seen the magic of his music in animating the residents. They come alive singing with him, directing him, and just having fun. Now, if you'd like to nominate someone, send us an email or head over to our website at weau.com. When we get those temperatures that are in the still upper 30s, it will feel cold, but, but it really shouldn't at this time of year. That's what I was saying before. I was like, you know, 30 degrees or upper 30s even is going to feel frigid compared to the 50s that we've had for most of February thus far. Right. So very strange. Yes, right. it is. Thanks, Michael. You